What's up, guys? It's Wally, and today we're going to be listening to a performance by Dimash and Lee Yugong of Drunken Concubine and Diva Dance. Now, Diva Dance is a song that I've seen recommended under a bunch of videos in the past. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the one that's actually from the film The Fifth Element, which is a fantastic film and probably a film I saw way before I probably should have. But still, fantastic film. And from what I remember of this song, it was an absolutely insane song. But if there's any singer that's out there right now that I think could probably perform that extremely well, it's got to be Dimash. And again, I've never actually heard of Lee Yugong before, but if there's anything I know about Dimash is that he performs with the best. So super excited to listen to the song and see what it's about. So we'll get into it. But before we do, as always, if you guys are new here, just haven't yet, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. But let's get into the song. <laughs> Hold on one second. I, I gotta say, Han, I want to hear that again. How Again, it still blows my mind. After how many videos have we seen of Dimash now? And again, him being able to hit those notes like that, just, it just still blows my mind. How do you get that low? That sounds so dang good. What a transition. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did it... Uh, <laughs> sorry, did he just drop down to like a really low register right there? Hold on, did, did I just... Was I just hearing things or, or did that actually happen? That's insane. And, and again, yeah, that... Now I remember this and remember the song from the movie. Um, dude, that is... I... How is that even real? I, I don't... I don't get... How do you... First of all, he hits those notes so so perfectly, and just the staccato on them is is amazing. But to go from like that range up to there, back down to here, it, it, like I I just it it blows my mind. The both of them, by the way, too. I want to stop and say that too because you know as much as I am gonna praise Dimash in this video, Lee sounds absolutely incredible here too. Uh, again, that this is a really really insane song to try to replicate and both of them are just doing a phenomenal job so again as much as i'm going to like just talk about how amazing dimash is here lee deserves a ton of credit here too because he sounds effing incredible <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, because we just got done listening to, you know, Unforgettable Day last week. That, very reminiscent of, of that, that whistle. 
the the uh, what is that the the D eight that everyone's talking about? And I also saw in the comments too um, that they were saying that like that note that he hit in that song, the the live version was actually an accident. Like he didn't mean to go that high, and that is in, insane to me again too. But that kind of like whistle right there, wow. Again, how do you how do you hit that so flawlessly? that they're hitting together wow holy cow man dude that song was a absolutely insane and phenomenal dude those two together sound so incredible again like i said those harmonies that they were having or hitting right there at the end too sound so phenomenal and, and i gotta say again i'm gonna talk a lot about dimash here but lee dude they were absolutely incredible man some of the notes that they were hitting too i, I don't even know how that's I, I, wow they just sound so it's so incredible together and like i said at the beginning too in the intro you know like i said dimash only works with the best and, and definitely saw that right here lee is wow i need to check out more of them for sure but dimash man again just showed off his insane range right here and man it just blew me away like again if you take the lowest note from this song and the highest again you're gonna see that entire range like the whole spectrum of his range and it's uh wow i there are no no words for it really honestly that's i never thought that, that would be possible but man he is definitely uh a transcendent vocalist definitely uh, one of the one of the best vocalists of our generation for sure and especially in terms of you know a range his is uh just his control his everything about him and everything about his ability to sing i just again i have no words for it because i don't think there are really accurate words to really describe how phenomenal he is um and and the fact that he can just go flawlessly from like you know w like one octave to another that that's like an octave or two away like i don't know how he's able to go back and forth like that again just absolutely shows you know his skill uh, his versatility in is as like a singer and and again just these two together that was what a phenomenal duet oh man what i would do to actually be in that crowd that would have been really incredible Man, uh, I, I should have actually looked back and, and gotten more context on the performance and, and everything about this because now I have actually really want to go and, and kind of see what this was for and see if there are more songs from like this performance because this was phenomenal. And again, if there are any other songs with Dimash and Lee like singing together, I definitely want to check that out too because again, these two together, man, that absolutely phenomenal two absolutely masters on the vocals uh and obviously i i know how phenomenal dimash is and we've talked about and i've talked about how transcendent they are as a vocalist especially in this generation but lee is definitely incredible too man that voice wow something else this was a really incredible song and again yeah i remember now you know the diva dance from uh from fifth element and 
I, honestly, back then, like then again, I didn't know much about music. I'm like, oh, you know, it's, you know, it, that's still insane to hear. Like that doesn't even sound real. But like back then, I didn't really fully grasp it. But now being able to hear someone do it and watch them do it kind of, well, a recording of a live performance. So actually seeing them do it. It, it just blows my mind that that's even possible because again, like you guys don't want to hear me try to sing. So I won't actually do that on camera, but you know, me in the car trying to sing, like even going from one note to another, it is so sloppy. Uh, and obviously there's no training here and a ton of training here and just natural talent too. But still to, even if I trained eight hours a day for the next, you know, decade, I don't think I would have even been able to come close to, you know, even, I don't even know, replicating what he did here or even coming close to even doing something remotely close to that. It just, it blows my mind. He's one phenomenal vocalist and what, what an incredible musician, truly. Again, because I know it goes beyond his vocals, but really in this song, just absolutely on full display here. And again, I don't think I'm going to be able to see, you know, enough Dimash videos for him to never like blow my mind again. So I think no matter how many we watch, yeah, he's always going to end up surprising me, and he definitely did it here again. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the song. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. We'll see you guys next time.